we are going to see uh, how we are going to fetch the data uh, which we have stored into the schema so in the previous video uh, we saw we have created this form where three fields were there and we had put this button submit button to save this data uh, into a default uh, schema right which is something the module so we have put the action type here as save so when we were clicking on the submit button uh, we were directing or this url was getting changed and we were able to see a submission id also the uh, schema id where this data is stored so just to recap on that this is what we had um, did so if we click on submit so the data was getting saved and this is what we were able to see right this is the submission id and this is the schema id so what we will do is uh, we will fetch the data which is present inside this schema so how to do that so in the plugin so that would be done something with the help of plugin so i'm just dragging and dropping here this plugin component let me put a property id which is something making sense with the actual operation it will be doing so plug fetch data this is what the name i have given uh, and in the service type we have uncork as well as external services so what are what are these uncork services so these are the services or the apis which are already provided by uncork which are like pre-configured by uncork so for example if you want to combine pdf so one service is already provided by uncork which is combine pdfs concatenate images convert image or document and so on there are a lot of services that uncork provides and if we want to talk with some external service then we have an option here like we can select our external service so initially we need to configure that external service from a different portal in this uncork and that configured service would be would be visible here but yeah now we are going to deal with dealing the data which is already stored uh, in this uh, uncork schema so for that we have a service which is uh, get submissions right get submission let me put it so here if you see we have this get module submission or if we want more like we want all the submissions right so we have this service which is get module submissions so here we just need to put that module id okay so here the module id is something as i said module is nothing but schema whenever we are dealing with module it is either used to create the layout on the screen or the second usage is use it at a schema so in this example we had seen like we had created this particular uh, module uh, the same one and there we were saving the data so all those things would be saved into this modules schema so let me copy paste this module id and if i replace here this module id with the actual id so here automatically that module will get appear which is called a sandbox and here like we have this service so how to do that like we don't have anything about it how what are the parameters we need to send and what would be the data type we need to pass so for that just click on learn more and there you will get the actual api documentation how to use this service so every time there would there are a lot of services in uncock and every time we you want to use that we need to go through this particular api specification document where all those things are there so this is the one for get module submission so what we need to do is path parameters as module id so path parameters we have already specified which is a module id here so we are good with this and query by parameters are this like here if we want to uh, okay we'll talk about this later as this is a transform so we'll see that this is an entirely new or this is a completely new topic or a concept uh, we'll see it later then we have a limit here so if we want to uh, limit the number of records which we, uh, we want to fetch then this is the parameter or like query parameter for it and so on like like that we have a lot of things if we want to sort data sort order a uh, lot of things are the okay so this api specification doc would help us to get more details about it so for now what we will do is we just want to get the data from it right plain data we don't want to specify anything 
so what we need to do is just update here a module id which is nothing but the schema id and other things we don't need to change because as soon as we have selected that service whatever the server request type is it will be pre-selected so it is a get service as we are getting the module submissions and again this is a trigger type so we have seen this already so let's put it manual for now so we are going to manually trigger this plugin so let's try it out so what I will do is I will put it here a button component button get data this is the one get data right so I will put it on a event where I would be calling that plugin with a click of that plugin fetch data so let me refresh the screen okay sorry it was taking time so I close that let me preview it again okay so if I click on this get data the network I mean that API is getting called but how to see that right we can go into the network tab and here in the network we can see that call right whatever whatever the network calls we are doing with this so now keeping the network tab open if I click on get data here you will see this service is getting triggered and this is the endpoint for it which is triggered and here we are passing that module ID which is nothing but the schema ID and this is the endpoint so in the preview you will see all the records which are there so as I have explained you yesterday in the MongoDB let me open that yeah in the MongoDB we save this data in this fashion right not this one yeah this one so uh, we have the schema ID which is nothing but a unique identifier for a particular schema and inside that we have objects so like that all these objects are there so this was just example but here is that thing right so all this data is stored here so if you see first name and all those things uh, and modified uh, when this data was created so just now it is created so this date and you can see the other records also which we have uh, put it over here uh, yesterday right in the previous video when we were creating that uh, submission and also here if you see this ID unique identifier right so this ID so this is the unique identifier for that and we can get that ID as well so let's create one more record just to show you if that record is something getting added again so let me put some name here as maybe some random thing mail submit okay now we have this submission id now i will get the data so i will go to the network tab just wanted to close this okay get data so if you see one more new entries added where these things are there right so this is recent one so this is the data that we have put and using this plugin component we have used the get module submissions service to get all the data so this is what we can see here all those records okay so that's it from this video so if you have liked this video please click on the like button and also please don't forget to subscribe the channel and also if you haven't accessed the playlist you can go to our channel and access the uncock playlist and keep sharing these videos thank you guys